Toyota's 70 series Land Cruiser is a very popular rig. A lot of tradesmen use them as well, builders and whatnot. And we have a 79 series dual cab here, which you can see has already been kitted out. You're talking bull bars, you're talking spotties, you're talking light bars, winches, UHF, solar panel, canopy, lift, big tires. The list goes on. Tradies, builders, guys like that are on and off the phone all the time. When you got tiny little four inch dash speakers and that's all you can hear your phone call coming through and then you got overarching road noise coming up from underneath, what happens? You can't hear a thing. We're gonna do a full package of this car builder's sound deadener, which will be under the floor, two layers, in the doors, in the roof, everywhere. Aftermarket unit's already been fitted. That's not working very well for this customer. So we've got a, an Alpine unit to replace that. Alpine make these beautiful molded door panels that run a six by nine speaker in them front and rear. So that means we have to run all wiring and everything because none of that's there. There's varying degrees of installations that you can do with these 70 series. You can go a little bit more basic. You can go a lot further. There's a guy that, that works locally to us. Uh, if you're not following him on Instagram, you should. He's, he's at Automotive Acoustics. Okay, Amazing cool. fabrication work. And some of the stuff he does in terms of like custom door panels and, and installations with subs and amps and whatnot, it's it's ballistic check him out so check him out enjoy some time lapse of this whole thing getting stripped because mm -hmm. that's step one big job and then we'll run you through the different parts of the process in terms of applying the sound deadener We have this kit here from Car Builders, the peel and stick sound deadener. So that is uh, aluminium based. And on the back, it's a, a sticky butyl product. With the product, it's a case of strip out the whole trim, strip out all the seats. It's teeny. You, get, you do get some sound deadener here, thoughtfully up here and thoughtfully over here pulling the roof apart so we're going to do a, at least a stage one through the roof and then under the carpet it has some foam underlay but you can see there literally that foam underlay is nothing cut to size peel that off get your roller like this and roll it on the biggest tip I can give you with this is just making sure that the surface prep is done correctly this surface as clean as possible we're just using a methylated spirits with a microfiber cloth and this is after we've already given it a vacuum. And this will cover as much and as far up into here as possible. The other foam layer go over the top to replace that original underlay. The next step is to pull these doors off. Progress. Big job. Excitement. Happy Whoa. days. Blow your eyes apart. end of day one on this project this is where we're up to the full house car builders experience so we've got a little bit more of that wall to do there inside of three doors inside this door is just about done this has kind of got like a solid rubbery type sound to it as opposed to this door we haven't done adding that much density to a panel like a door and in this case obviously all under the floor it'll all go up under the roof here as well our premium door box speakers there's a sub in that one there's a amplifier some splits some amp wiring head unit We've now completed stage two, waterproof carpet underlay, and that's sitting directly on top of stage one that I showed you before. 
We have acoustic liner that sits up on that back wall. This is kind of like a neoprene, like a like a wetsuit type material, I guess, like a neoprene foam. This is more of just like a open cell type foam. Both of these are peel and stick. And then there's actually another product that goes on the roof, but that's like a six mil thickness, which you can see on the box there, as opposed to this one here, which is actually kind of two layers. It's got like a soft foam backing and then that six mil layer on top. So this thing is going to be tight as a drum. Yes. And then of course we've got all four doors now lined on the insides. So that's those, our plastic little uh, trim will go back over that to stop the water getting through. The same story on the front doors. Brett is now taping up in the back. What we're gonna do is spray glue that whole back wall and put down a big sheet of the four-way stretch carpet, which is another car builder's product you've seen us use here before. And the car builder's glue. Out of a can in a spray gun, maybe you find a better one, but out of an aerosol can, nice and easy, which is really handy when you're mobile uh, and don't have an air compressor. Yes, very good stuff. Front seats back in, we've got back seats back in, roof liner back in. The console up the top here is nearly ready to go in. Just got a wire on the UHF power plug and that can all go in for new UHF. Modifications to the doors. I think we'll put a bit of sound deadener on where you've cut this to. Yep. Just, just around, just around yeah. like here yeah, where the speaker's going, just to put a bit of density into that section. These beautiful injected plastic molded door pods, front and rears. Rears run a six by nine, they run USB charger in every pocket. These front ones have got little lights underneath them too. A very factory look about them, uh, rather than being custom or aftermarket. They come with nice instructions, so if you're not experienced in this sort of stuff, they, we said before, they make them somewhat idiot proof. Templates. Templates. Like everything. Everything, everything you need to be able to do the job yourself at home. So this kit's made up of two things. It's made up of this section, which is really Buttons, fascia, screen, three separate pieces. There's a brain unit, which is this one. Same size as your standard single din radio. This plastic fascia that normally has a doubled in slot. The perfect fit versus the factory fit. Exactly the same, except one is showing a nine inch screen, nicely built in with all the buttons on the bottom. Car Apple CarPlay, wireless, Android Auto as well. You can see there, it's all high definition screen, separate buttons along the bottom here, which make it all link up. You've got a relocation for your hazard light, Apple CarPlay, which in this case it's wireless. It's a big screen. Big screen, nine inch screen. It's really nice. Look at that tree over there, mm. how windy it is today. It's like dead silent in here. I reckon it's crazy and ridiculous how different it is in here. We changed the UHF for a GME style wireless remote which just sits there on the steering wheel with its own standalone little microphone up here hiding just next to the uh, sun visor. We've got the Alpine door pods in there now. The other cool thing, and I'll show you a picture of this at night shortly, but there's an underside light which turns on and off with the door. Fold the seat and then in behind the seat we've got Alpine 5 channel amp. We've got an eight inch sub sitting in there. And uh, obviously that carpeted back wall that we showed you guys the process of in the beginning. Uh, Brett's yet to hear this. No, I am um, excited to see what happens. Did you hear this before we pulled it apart? The little four inch speakers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there, wasn't, there wasn't much to this with those little tiny four inch speakers in the dashboard. You couldn't hear the sound coming out of the phone like Zach was saying in one of the earlier videos over the road, road noise from the tires on this car. Yeah. So you could just imagine how quiet and how crackly they would be when they were cranked. In, <clears throat> in terms of what is possible with a custom stereo, yeah. this is not necessarily like even close to the pinnacle, right? There's so much more that can be done. Um, but 
what this is, is an off the shelf solution yeah. for this model of vehicle, which is a very popular vehicle, A, mm. and also very um, like lacking in terms of what it comes with from standard. Yeah. What are your thoughts? <laughs> wow. The quality of sound, there's no rattles, there's no nothing. No, like it's, it's just clear, it's crisp, it's spot on. Yeah. I definitely agree with you with, you know, if it had a slightly bigger sub, it would probably make it a little bit better. Yeah. But in the way of sound quality, with all the sound deadening, the speakers, everything is just next level. Yeah. You wouldn't think that you were in a four wheel drive. Not the, the basic tin can four wheel drive that it was. It was, yeah. No, it's actually blow my mind. Yeah, well, that's there you go. You heard it here first, people. Mind blowing. Yeah, let us do yours. <laughs> let us do yours. We're just on our way back to dropping this thing off. The big tires, snorkel, very windy day, and you listen. It's a very comfortable ride. Like, it's just, yeah, there's a bit of noise there, but it's very quiet, extremely quiet. Plus, the stereo now, like, the stereo just pumps really nicely the combination of the two one without the other really would, would wouldn't do this thing justice at all I feel see what we can get pumping here on the stereo for you well we just arrived back back home with the uh, 70 so we're gonna hand her off back to its owner see what he thinks I think pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Oh, what happened there? We made it this far. What the f*** happened there? Oh, a bit of corn. Here you go, a bit of, a bit of metal. Put the light on so you can see me. Which is COVID residual. Long COVID. <coughs> Back COVID. Alright, so. Alright. See you soon. See you soon.